Hi, my name is Marine Adrian and I work for Global Health Advocates. Hello, my name is Martin Pigeon and I'm a researcher and campaigner at Corporate Europe Observatory. Today, we are publishing two investigative reports on how, in the name of innovation, industry has managed to control the use of 3.7 billion euros in EU public research funds. We looked into two public-private partnerships between the European Commission and industry lobby groups. The largest and the oldest one is called the Innovative Medicines Initiative, IMI. It was originally designed to improve public health by speeding up the development of innovative medicines and making them accessible for patients, especially for health issues and diseases that do not get enough attention or funding. The second, called Biobased Industries, BBI, was created to support a more resource-efficient and sustainable low-carbon economy and to increase economic growth and development, especially in rural areas. So the idea behind the creation of these public-private partnerships, or PPPs, was the following. The EU is facing a series of societal challenges. In order to address them, it lets industry define what research areas these partnerships should prioritize. And then it brings in lots of public funding, researchers and research centers, hoping this will deliver two types of benefits. New technologies and products that help address societal challenges in the EU. And second, an improved competitiveness for EU-based industries. But in fact, this is not really happening. Indeed. We found, for example, that several projects funded by the BDI, such as using plants for the production of more plastics or energy, are actually threatening, not helping the climate and biodiversity. In the case of IMI, we found that instead of funding research into life-saving vaccines and medicines that we are missing today, the partnership mostly funded research in areas that are already profitable for industry. We have also documented how several research projects are in fact helping this industry lobby the EU or do public relations or marketing work to improve their reputation with public money. And in the case of epidemics such as Ebola or COVID-19, we have seen how industry is willing to help research vaccines or treatments only after public funding is made available. For more than a year, we have been interviewing researchers and decision makers and sifting through hundreds of internal documents and scientific papers. We have examined the governance of these PPPs as well as their accountability and evaluation mechanisms. We have assessed whether IMI and BBI deliver positive societal impact. And we have tried to understand whether their objectives of enhancing competitiveness stand up to scrutiny. Here is what we have found. Firstly, the societal challenges that were the pretext for creating these PPPs are not being addressed in a meaningful way. Even the evidence for improved industry competitiveness via these PPPs is limited. Instead, the lobby groups that steer these partnerships are making them serve the mere interests of the companies they work for. Secondly, industry partners are hardly delivering the cash and non-monetary contributions they have promised. In fact, these two public-private partnerships are hardly partnerships at all. In short, Industry controls the use of billions of euros in EU research and innovation funds. Public research funding is really, really important. Without public researchers independent from the fossil fuels industry, we would still be discussing the reality of man-made climate change. Without public biologists, we would not know how much the massive use of pesticides is destroying biodiversity. COVID-19 reminds us of the importance of developing effective and affordable vaccines and other medical tools. Public research is an investment in knowledge production for tomorrow. So the big question here is, as a society, where do we want to invest? In technologies for the profits of a few or in knowledge and tools for the public good? This is, in fact, something that needs action now. Because as we speak, negotiations are happening between the European Commission and the EU member states to define the next version of these PPPs. And of course, industry is lobbying hard to keep the money coming. 
What's at stake here is the corporate capture of EU research policy and funds at the expense of public needs, our health and the health of our planet. That is why we invite you all to read this research and ask your governments not to support the renewal of these partnerships, at least not in their current forms. We need this precious public money for better uses.